Andrew, stop. Get off your phone. Would what are you doing? He's making, he's making You're texting Ian, dude. He left the group. What a weak oh. boy. Well, yeah. <laughs> Sweetie. Killer Camry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this guy doesn't care. Low send tires right off the rims. Well, I figured out where manual mode was. That column took the way all the way down to first. Well, this is an interesting predicament. We'll have to figure this one out. Got a bunch of codes. Well, I tried to start it without the ISB connected, but uh, no dice on that one. Flashed it back to stock just for simplicity reasons. So I'm gonna have to go under the hood and start looking at the uh, start looking at the uh, ECU. Well, this is fun. I have checked, and I've got power all the way at to the starter. And the coolant looks clean, so I don't think any major catastrophic fluid exchange happened. Um, it must be something related, because I got coolant pump BSD error. I got uh, oil pressure fault DME, and then uh, IBS battery sensor fault code and something else. But I heard they're all linked on one system, so something in that system failed. Okay, so after I've been diagnosing all this time, I checked the DME codes again. And uh, now I only have a BSD fault, none of the others. So I'm not entirely sure. I looked up just that code and tested some other things. But what makes me suspect is that... that that almost seems a little suspect to me. It looks like it might have broken apart up in there. I don't know. But on both ends of this terminal and the one on the starter, they look like they might be corroded on the other sides. So I'm going to take that off and try and clean some things up. All right, so turns out, turned her over and drove her in. It seems to be that it was a uh, an engine ground. So I have to jack it up and see how that ground cable underneath is doing. Aha! Uh -huh. She lives! She lives! Anyways, yeah, it was confirmed. Bad ground cable. I just went to uh, Advanced Auto. Got a aftermarket one that was, uh, wasn't braided, but it was, well, it might have been braided on the inside, but it was, uh, surrounded by, uh, rubber coating, you know, like a regular fat wire, and, uh, you know, just put that on there. It was pretty thick, too, so I was like, you know what, that'll work. I'll just, you know, tie up the access, you know, and the excess and the, then you know I'll ship it but yeah we're on the test drive road right now and she's coming along nicely so she seems to be fixed all right so one thing I've noticed is it's not surging like it used to the big test will be taking it out on the highway later tonight probably but I think that that bad ground might have caused that surging I mean it's running really nice and smooth right now so one can hope and pray. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's probably good form. Yeah, I'll put them. I'll wheel. I'll chalk the wheels. It's not going anywhere, but I'll chalk the wheels. You never know. But yeah, this is my truck. Yee yee. Where are the wheel chalks? Behind. Um. Hey. I am completely blind. <laughs> No. Nice way to end the weekend, huh, Dad? 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 Too fast. <laughs>